Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Ashley Cross and today I'm going to talk to you about using Twitter for educators, how to build your professional learning network. So to begin with, I want you to really understand that this is the World Educator Collaboration Network. Most people don't really think of Twitter as this amazing resource, or at least a lot of educators that, that I know, they have these misconceptions. They think that Twitter Twitter's more like Facebook status, where you're posting your pictures of your toes on the beach. Or maybe it's celebrities like Justin Bieber and the things that he has to say. Or maybe you like to go on vacation and post your favorite cruise pictures of you with food, right? Well, that's not what Twitter is about. Twitter is about connecting with other educators and getting relevant content that can actually help your profession, that can improve your daily lessons, help your students connect with scientists and authors, and just for you to reach out and connect with other educators all around the world. So Twitter is not email. It's not long and drawn out like the news. It's not something like a blog where you have to go and read um, articles after articles. Now one thing about Twitter is that there's so much content being published out there that it's, it's kind of overwhelming and it can be if you don't understand how to use it. You're not trying to read every single message that comes across and this is really, really important because some people don't understand this and they're concerned, okay, well, when I shut my computer off, now I've got to go back and I've got to go read all those messages like an email and it, Twitter is not email. Twitter is something that's going on 24 hours a day and whether you're there or not, it's going to be happening. But your job is just to take out what you can. So just get the relevant content to you. And if you learn one or two new things every day, I mean, I think that would be amazing on its own. So this is the purpose of Twitter. Now, another thing with Twitter is that it does have its own language, which can be kind of scary. So let's kind of go over these. Um, here you see a video that I've already shot. And it shows you, first of all, we've got some tweets. The actual usernames that people use, this is a Twitter username or a handle. The hashtags are really important. It starts with a pound sign, they're usually abbreviated. Follow just means like in Facebook where you're getting the news feed, similar to that. Um, you can post pictures, videos, you can post URLs um, to other websites. This is really powerful because you can um, connect to blogs or important articles and then you can publish those so when you come across important information you can share that as well but you can also just not post anything at all you can just follow other people and absorb their content but you'll see that your new content is consistently being fed into your newsfeed so how do you manage Twitter you're going to need something like Hootsuite or TweetDeck um, now Hootsuite has a little bit of an advantage because that is available in an app there are others as well but that's just some of the more popular ones but you're going to follow individual hashtags. So that's how you keep up with Twitter. I don't care what Justin Bieber is tweeting out. I'm not following him. What I am concerned about is what other elementary school teachers are saying. So I follow things like Elm Chat, which stands for elementary chat. So now you're thinking, okay, well, that's great. But how did you know where to get that hashtag and all those abbreviations? Where do you even begin? Well, I've got some great news, folks, because there is an educational superhero. His name is Cybrary Man. I was lucky enough to meet him this summer at ISTE, and he is the guru of educational hashtags. So he's got his site, which I have listed here, and it has over 300 hashtags, and then he actually tells you what they stand for, so that's really important. But some of them are, are very um, easy. For example, right here you see math. So if you're a math teacher, that's a great one to start with. Another thing that I don't think people realize is that there are actual Twitter chats that happen um, that have a scheduled time. So every day of the week there are chats going on. So let's say that you teach third grade, like me. You can follow the third grade teacher chat. You need to find out what day it's happening and then what time and also to be careful to watch what time zone. Um, because people from all over the world do participate in these. And again, Cyberman Man is our resource here. Um, He's got a complete list of all the days. So right now we're looking at Sunday, just from really eight to nine is what most of the screen is. And you can see all the different ones. Um, some of them are like local areas, some of them are different organizations, and some of them are, are global chats. So it's very exciting to meet educators from all over the world by participating in these chats. Um, again, you don't have to commit to like every Sunday night at eight o'clock. If you want to, and that's fine, that'd be great too, because you can really build a relationship. But honestly, I like to just kind of jump in whenever I see an interesting discussion going on. Some of them will show up on my news feed and um, I'll jump right in 
and get started there. Generally with Twitter chats, there's going to be a moderator and they'll have a couple of questions that they'll actually be discussing. So that's kind of how it'll work. So they'll ask um, maybe five to 10 questions and then everyone will reply with their answers to those questions. So they'll all discuss question one and have a discussion about it. They're really a lot of fun and you get some interesting point of views. Now, another use for Twitter is during professional development. I know sometimes when you're sitting in the back of the room and you're kind of having a little side conversation with your, your neighbors, or maybe you don't understand something, or maybe you have this great idea of how you could share what the presenter is talking about and you have this great classroom application. If you use a hashtag, um, let's say that you're having a um, professional development on reading. So maybe you say reading and then you give, um, I don't know, maybe something specific to your county or you abbreviate it. Just make, nobody, make sure that no one else is currently using that hashtag. You can create your own and then everyone that's at that meeting that has a Twitter account can use that hashtag and you can see what everyone else is saying. So you can share and it really brings professional development to life. So you say, all right, that sounds great. Now, how do I begin? First things that you need to do, you need to sign up for a Twitter account. So just go to twitter.com, it's a free account. Um, then I would really recommend either getting Hootsuite or TweetDeck. And then you need to follow just a couple of people. I would start out with maybe three educators. I've got um, some of my favorites listed down there. So pick just a few people to get started. So here's Hootsuite. You click add a social network and you're gonna set up your Twitter account just by a very simple click there. And then when you click add stream, you're gonna follow a specific hashtag. So again, here is the site for Cyberryman's hashtags. Um, here's just a couple that I'm recommending. If you are an elementary teacher, Elm Chat is a great one. Ed Tech is educational technology, and Ed Chat is a general education hashtag that you can follow. So even if you just list these three and nothing else to get started with, you're going to have a wealth of information coming through. To begin with, you really don't need to worry about spending a whole bunch of time, just 10 to 15 minutes, and you have created your own professional learning network. So again, my name is Ashley Cross. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation. Please feel free to follow me on Twitter and contact me. I'd love for you to stop by my blog, leave me a comment, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.